Welcome to episode 492, James Goodnight, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 492, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 492, lesson 6 to lesson 9. Lesson number 1, from part-time programmer to co-inventor of SAS. Conversation with uh, Jim is uh, how you started SAS, uh, you were uh, a PhD, working on your PhD, uh, or had it. Uh, were you an accidental entrepreneur like SAS? Well, not about starting a company, but uh, you know, about the fact that uh, we really enjoy being programmers and we, we love developing software that other people were going to use. And I also enjoyed the fact that it was paying my way through college. So um, that's how SAS got started back in the... Uh, 66, 66. Lesson number two, starting with agricultural data. We were sort of on our own, and for, so for the next four years, we were on the, what's called soft money. That is, you're welcome to stay at the university, provided you can pay your own salary. And so uh, we, we, we actually did that. By, so your entrepreneurial efforts then were writing grants. <laughs> well, the first, uh, our, the first group of our users uh, were actually the uh, Southern Experiment Stations uh, that were using, that had adopted SAS uh, all over the South to analyze all the agricultural data. Lesson number three, SAS is not the first statistical software or package. There were many, such as SPSS from IBM. Lesson number four, constant innovation by spending 25% of revenue on research and development. From a uh, business uh, perspective, that goal has supported our growth. Now our commitment to uh, R&D remains strong as we reinvested 25% of our revenues last year into R&D. And I am a big believer in constant innovation. Lesson number five, Best place to work, employee benefits. What makes SAS special? To start with, a flexible 35 hour work week. SAS also offers free childcare and medical attention in the headquarters in Cary, North Carolina, as well as gyms, soccer, basketball and softball fields, free massages, dance, golf and tennis classes, abundant quantities of M&Ms every Wednesday morning and laundry service and clothes are returned the next day. No wonder Fortune, The Wall Street Journal, Business Week, Working Mother, and Fast Company have profiled its culture. Lesson number six, longest tenure as CEO. He co-founded SAS in 1976. By 2019, he has served as CEO for 43 years. I believe this is the longest record for a software company. And in 1999, the company broke the $1 billion revenue mark. It's the largest private software company in the world. Lesson number seven, two things unchanged. There are two things that remain unchanged. The first is that data is constantly being generated. Only today it's accelerated tremendously. The second thing that remains unchanged is our mission to keep innovation. To Lesson number eight, cut loss fast. For example, cutting off computer games in the 1990s, and also cutting off a Midway airline. Also, I, I spent a, money, a lot of money buying a little airline called Midway back in, uh, back in the 2000s. Uh, flew up and down the East Coast mainly. Uh, that was, uh, you know, they were, they were, they, they were starting to go under. Uh, there was, we had a sort of a, a recession after the uh, dot-com bubble broke. Lesson number nine, listen to your customers. In this case, on speed. Three and a half years ago, I was in Singapore. And um, a banking customer said that they had just gotten the uh, SAS risk, risk management in place, but that it was taking 18 hours to compute risk. Of course, if you're a banker, 18 hours from now, you're going to be trading again. And if you don't know your risk, you're, you, you might just keep compounding it. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, I will, um, I'll look into that problem when I get back. 
And when I, when I got back, I talked to our risk folks to try to make, get a very clear understanding of precisely what they were computing. And I went back and after figuring out what they were doing, um, started penciling in roughly how much is this going to take to do this. And for the particular problem they had, it was going to take about 200 trillion operations on the computer. Thank you for watching. Have you ever used the software SaaS by James Goodnight? Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.